Hello everyone, my name is Hao Fang Ren. In this self-reflection video, I will first talk about the reflection for the blog and the report. Second, I will talk about an example from the course. Third, I will talk about how what you influence me as a student and employee in the future. Now I will talk about the reflection. From the perspective of structure, I forgot to include a title and a conclusion in the blog. The structure of writing assignment is very important. Therefore, I need to pay attention to the structure of writing assignments in future, in future study. I need to understand the, the structural difference among blog, essay, and report, and use an appropriate structure for them. In the report, I learned a lesson from the blog, so I properly structured the report. For example, I included a title page and a table of content in the report. I also use headings and subheadings. Thus, the report was well structured and easy to follow. As for the reference, there are some common mistakes in reference in the blog and the report due to carelessness. For example, for the blog, I used the wrong author for the reading about emotional intelligence. For the report, I did not use reference from the required reference list. Therefore, I need to be careful about the reference in future writing assignments. I need to check how the reference carefully and comply with the reference requirements of assignments. Now, I will talk about an example from the course. When we review what I have learned. The SPI feedback mentioned by Abyssinher resonates with me most. I used to only give positive feedback to others and avoided giving negative feedback. Then it's because I think negative feedback will hurt others' feelings. The good thing is that people are happy to work with me because I think because I only provide positive feedback. However, the bad thing is that I cannot speak up for myself if somebody hurts me. After I learn about the SPI feedback, I know how to give proper feedback. By giving specific and action-oriented feedback, people will be better informed of the situation and the impact of their behavior. Thus, I can not only make positive feedback more powerful, but also make negative feedback more acceptable. Therefore, in the future, if there is a situation that requires my feedback, I will know how to give proper positive feedback to encourage my peers to do the right thing. I will also be able to give proper negative feedback to stop my peers from doing the wrong thing. Now I will talk about now I will talk about virtue. Virtue focus on good character. It helps me for my future in assessing situations and making decisions. There are two good characters that influence me most, namely prudence and courage. Prudence tells me that a good person would consider long-term consequences to make appropriate decisions. In the future, I need to focus on long-term performance rather than short-term performance. Moreover, it reminds me of stakeholder theory mentioned by Gribble. In the future, before making a decision, I need to consider the impact on all stakeholders. Courage tells me that a good person is willing to do the right thing despite the personal cost. This reminds me of giving voice to value mentioned by Abyssinher. When I see an unethical conduct in the workplace, I used to do nothing because I fear of negative consequences in the past. But now, I would act on my values. I'm willing to be brief and speak up against unethical conduct despite the personal cost. That is my presentation. Thanks for listening.